Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. I am sure you know what is postman and why it is used for. I just give a brief introduction. So postman is the tool most people use to test the API services. So it is used to create and save simple and complex HTTP requests and their response. So let us use one request. So click on this symbol and use the URL. So when you hit this URL, you are passing the page as key and two as a value. And you can see the response here, JSON response, right? Here you can see the status 200. So using the postman, you can test the any API services, whether it is get method or post method, whatever, right? So if you are working on the front end applications like Angular or React, mostly you will be using the widgets today code nowadays. So if you'd like to test any service before you consuming it in your front end application, you might have to switch from the Visual Studio code to the Postman tool, right? And there you test the service request and response and you make sure that everything is good. Then you go for implementing it in the application. So instead of moving from Visual Studio code to Postman, we have the extension called Thunder Client in the Visual Studio code extensions. So using that, you can test the API services. So open the Visual Studio code and here click on view extensions, search for Thunder Client. And this Thunder Client is the light version of the API client. So REST API client for VS code, right? Now click on the install. So it is installed. Now let us see how to use it. So view, open the command palette and here you can search for Thunder Client new request. So I have already used it. That's why you can see that in the recently used. So click on it. You can just search for Thunder Client and it will show you the options. So click on new request. And here by default, you can see one of the URL. So just remove it and I am pasting the URL that we used in the postman. Click on the send and here you can see that page is the key and value is the two and right side you can see the JSON response. And this way you can test get post put or delete any kind of method in the Thunder client. So this is very useful. You don't need to switch to the any other tool like Postman or something else before you consuming it. So you can just test it in the Visual Studio code itself and you can know the validity of request and response and you can proceed. So this is very cool. And this Thunder client is built with JavaScript, TypeScript, Flexbox and you know, S editor, GOT, NEDB. So no other JavaScript or Booster frameworks are used here. Hope this is helpful. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends.